Why do we need underground buried downspout systems? What's the dark side? What can happen if we don't do it? Well, this homeowner had 3% slope and thought just letting the water go, it would just run far away from the house and it wouldn't be a problem. Unfortunately, it does not work that way. The soil will wick the water back to the brick veneer in this case, but it doesn't matter. If you have vinyl siding, if you have aluminum siding, if you have wood siding, if you have T111, it doesn't matter. When you have moisture up against your structure, it's going to tax the building materials. And the framing behind our veneer, it doesn't matter if it's brick veneer, vinyl siding, aluminum siding, T111, it doesn't matter. The framing is all the same. So we're rotting out our frame. We're taxing the, the veneer. In this case, it's brick veneer. Now, on this side of the house, the walkway was a problem. Well, we take out a slab of concrete to put in a buried underground downspout. And this is the reason why. You go to those extremes to move water away from your home. Usually, your home is the biggest part of your investment portfolio or one of the larger assets in your investment portfolio. So you want to take care of it. Now, if you know you have a damaged pipe, get it repaired. In this case, somebody ran a PVC drain in the north. And in the north, we freeze up. No matter what, you freeze up. And when the PVC cracks and you end up with a break, then it'll attack the brick veneer or your wood framing. Again, doesn't matter what your house is veneered with. Homes are built the same as far as the framing is concerned. You want to get the water safely away from your house. You want to get it far away from your house. And that's another thing. How far do you go to get the water out? Well, we'll pull up a brick paver walkway and relay those pavers to get the water away from the house. Now, how far? Well, in this case, we don't want to let the water go right in between two homes. We want to get it far away from these homes. If I had to give you a number, I would say 15 feet past the corner of the house. I don't care if it's the front corner or if it's the back corner of your home. 15 feet past the corner of your house is where you want to be discharging the water. Minimum minimum. And if you know that you're flat and you got to go further than that to get fall, do so and use quality parts because this is the result. If you buy really cheap components, build a system that's going to last, do it right the first time. If you found any of this information helpful, give us a thumbs up. It supports our channel. And if you have any more questions regarding underground buried downspouts, leave them in the comments section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood. And until that next video.